Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sonic Tear here with thegamerscene.com, the scene for all your gaming news, reviews and chat. First of all I'd like to say hello and welcome to our new YouTube channel run by me, your host, Sonic Tear. And secondly I'd like to say welcome to the weekly review for the week beginning the 23rd of April 2012. But might as well start off positively let's have let's check out the new new releases for this week first of all on the xbox 360 we have four games euro 2012 on tuesday blood forge on wednesday akai katana shin on friday and the biggie for this week prototype 2 coming to xbox could come into xbox 360 on tuesday ps3 has two games Prototype 2 on Tuesday as well, as well as Euro 2012 also hitting the console on Tuesday. PC games not so popular this week. Risen 2 Dark Waters coming to PC on Tuesday, as well as Euro 2012 football coming to consoles, coming to PC as the rest on Tuesday. Now, now as there's nothing new on the Wii, we'll head over to the handheld gaming section. Nothing new on the PS Vita unfortunately, but if you've got a DS you're in luck. 3DSs are going to get the Shifting World game on Tuesday and the DS players get Chuck E. Cheese's Arcade Room on Thursday. It's been quite quiet recently so there's not really many new big games out there but the two obvious big ones are Prototype 2 and Euro 2012. Euro 2012 I can imagine being a bit of a generic Euro game that UEFA pretty much release every four years for the World Cup. Uh, for the World Cup and then every four years for the Euro so I can't imagine anything special I'm afraid football fans for the for the Euro 2012 game it'll be FIFA there'll be a lot of European teams you can play as San Marino if you really want but it's not gonna be that exciting Prototype 2 on the other hand looks like it could be a hit I really enjoyed this game on PC so while we're there I might as well say it. I'm a bit gutted this is not on PC right now it really should be because this game was awesome for my on the computer. However, on the Xbox 360 and PS3, this game looks like it's going to be big. The first one was good, the second one looks like it's going to be better. And I have to say, I wish I had an Xbox 360 or a PS3. I might have to hunt one down just to check this game out because I can't wait to have a look, see the gameplay, see the videos, that kind of thing, just to check it out. If you missed last week's video game, last week in video games, do not fear, I'm, 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 I can bring you the biggest games that are from last week. First off, we have Xbox 360, Trials Evolution. This game, you wouldn't expect it to be big. I've seen millions of Trials games out there rank on like small video, small video games sites, but this game has been huge so far. It's, been, it's everywhere in the gaming talk, the gaming reviews, the gaming videos, everybody's talking about it. The critics are loving this game. We are talking 90s on average. For reviews for this game. This game has absolutely taken off in a way I never expected. So if you've got an Xbox 360, go and check it out. It's definitely worth having a look. Second big game that critics are really liking this week is for the PS Vita, and that's Disgaea Absence Disgaea 3 Absence of Detention. I played the first two Disgaea, Disgaea games on PSP, and I have to say they were pretty good. So this if you've got a PS Vita, check it out. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. And here's a little tip from me for the PC gamers out there. Download Super Monday Night Combat. It's a free game, only multiplayer. The critics are not liking it at the moment. I can only, I can, I've seen the reports and they're not really hitting it up that much. But I can honestly say when I played it, I had a barrel of fun. This game was good fun to play on. You can get your mates along. It's free so anybody can play it. There were a few issues with server problems when the game first started, but that's because it was so popular on release. That they didn't they didn't realize this and it was overloaded with players trying to get on. This game is great fun, so I should say definitely worth checking it out. If the if you haven't been you haven't looked at the gamer scene website recently, there are two new articles you could check out from the last week, and they are first off Microsoft Fright Review by me with a video and all. Um, if that that's a review of the newest flight simulator from Microsoft. If you're thinking, ah, oh, flight simulators, I can never cope with them. I, I always end up in pieces over some god knows where country. Just check it out. It's free, and. It's not as hard as you think it is. I could fly a plane, and that's saying a lot because I've often ended up in flames and I've played previous flight simulators. So it's definitely worth having a look. And even if you're just going to drop it and uninstall it, it's free. You've got nothing to lose. 
so give it a look. The second article is for the PSV, PSV to guys out there, and it's about the new free paint tool. Free, I believe, but it's the new paint tool that's out on the PS Vita. So if you've got a handheld, you're feeling creative, go read the go and read the article. It's a great article. You should really check it out. So go and have a look. That's this weekly review over and done with. If you've been watching the video, you'll see that I've been it's some Super Monday Night Combat multiplayer gameplay. But as I mentioned earlier, this game is great fun. Check it out. I had some good laughs. If you're unsure about this game, just watch the video. And you know check out the gameplay, see if it's something you're going to like. It's not your everyday shooter, but I can certainly recommend it from my personal experience. Um, if, you, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have some thoughts about gaming this week, the gaming last week, the gaming any year in the past, I am not overly concerned, hit the comments below or head over to gamerscene.com and hit the comments there. And if you want to see more from the gaming scene, our new channel, which is going to be set up and running like clockwork, starting this week, then by all means, hit the subscribe button and I look forward to your comments about what's going to be happening in gaming this week. Anyway, that's me, Sonic Tear, out.